Hello everyone, Enigo Snake here. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake. So, let's just get right into it. And basically, we're just gonna head off to Tifa right now. On this very calm night. <laughs> so freaking beautiful around here like keeping up with all these plants though god it's a lot of work can't sleep no you too i heard footsteps Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. I'm a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. <sighs> that flower you gave me the other night, that was from Aerith, wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers. They symbolize reunion, believe it or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now, it's dead and buried. <sighs> like the bar, our home, and everything else. from us again <laughs> my man cloud getting emotional right here maybe <laughs> yeah let's get a hug it's this is this is pretty sad though I might have ruined the moment, sorry guys. Cloud. Huh? Cloud, you're hurting me. Oh. <sighs> it's stupid. I know that crying's a waste of time. That's not true. Hmm. Thank you. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. <sighs> Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. Her. Mm -hmm. She's calling out to you. I always knew it, it must be her ancient stuff. Knew that one day I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl, but not yet. <clears throat> Please bring her back to me. Hmm. Daddy. <gasps> Marlene. Are you going? I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. Wait, is I wish Biggs I could really be dead? With you all the time, I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? <clears throat> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet, and Daddy 
Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> sure, okay. It's his job. And that's why I've got to go. You remember this is, that nice this girl is getting a little bit too cute it? for me. Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. Right? Of course, a promise. <sighs> okay, you can go. <laughs> she looks even tinier standing next to Barrett. <laughs> Tougher than me. All right, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So how are we Wait, supposed she's to get topside? Actually... With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. Wait, hold on. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked. So what's the plan then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo? Oh my god, yes. Mythical amulet. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> Didn't, uh, didn't know you were coming to see me still shit from her room. Bye. <laughs> I'll Good talk luck, to uh, you guys. these, these I'll people. I'll keep everyone safe. Good luck, you guys. Okay. She's, she, this is, I feel like she's voice acted by an actual little girl. Take <laughs> care of my girl. I'll look after Marlene and Wedge. Don't worry. Take care of my girl. <sighs> At least Wedge is still alive, but... And I don't know about his cat, so that one cat is alive. I don't know about the rest of the cats. Ooh. What? This wasn't here before. Pet pedometer. Pedometer. This has to be haste. This has to be haste on it. Um, let's see here. May do something after taking a number of steps with it set. Okay. Who should have haste on it? on them <laughs> well cloud of course probably should have it yeah we're gonna put that on and then we're gonna set get pedometer on yeah yeah we all know this is haste right like this has to be haste i totally forgot about haste like that's that's like a thing you're gonna have kira moves you gotta have freaking haste, and that's the best move in the world, I think, in, in my opinion. <laughs> my humble opinion. See, I'm a little confused about this. Increases the effectiveness of items used in battle. Does this mean that when she's in battle, every it, everyone, like all items used in the battle, or does she have to use an item, or does an item have to be used on her? Who knows? Just during battle. Item efficacy. Was there more specific there? I'm, I'm always complicating the shit out of everything. Cool beans. We got pedometer. So we're gonna go back to Corneo, apparently. Lovely man. <laughs> Not awkward at all. Barrett is will have a hard time cross-dressing. I mean, he, he can do it. But I feel like people will be able to tell quicker. <laughs> He's he'll be a very, very big bone lady.
A lot of people out here today. I mean, they didn't have anything to say to me, so I, you know, <laughs> I was trying to run into her. It's, I don't understand, like, in a game like this where you, like, you're running into people and they have animations for that shit. <laughs> okay, so I want to get to this. I wonder if that's possible. My fellow grounders! Listen up, because boy, do I have some news for you! And it's assured to knock your socks all the way into next week! Okay. So after bombing reactors 1 and 5, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7! Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage! The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame! But wait! Did you know Wu Tai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wu Tai, puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil. Come on. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them, we got them. Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gill apiece, cough it up! The truth ain't free, you know. Um... <laughs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu-Tai! I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit... <sighs> no one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. Odd jobs, the final job. The collapse of the plate means that many people in the slums are in desperate need of assistance. Once the party enters the Shinra building, they will no longer be able to help anyone in need. Therefore, try to help as many people as possible before entering Shinra headquarters. I know we're short on time, but let's try to help out wherever we can. And now, the latest on last night's Anyways, I was, I was gonna say that that's the dumbest way to get money for news. Like, you, you put it on a fucking piece of paper, so then you, you hide information behind a paywall. <laughs> and, I mean, you could do it out of the goodness of your heart and hope that people donate to you and just remind them at the end that you know you need money to survive and in order to continue doing this i need some support you can say that at the end and people might give you money but like the way she did it it's super inefficient that's all i have to say about that but um yeah i was trying to get over to the the moogle place they're coming for us next so everyone hates us how far can i guess i'll talk gone? to her Oh, Cloud, have you seen the kids around by any chance? I haven't seen them since they left to do their patrols. I knew I should have told them to stay inside today. If you do happen to run into them somewhere, could you tell them to come back right away? I can describe them if it'd help. Don't worry. I'll Just stay calm and wait here. You never know. They might come back on their own. Okay? Uh, yes. Of course. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Look at her stamp apron or skirt. But anyways, it, it's funny how like in these games they have like 
belated hand gestures. No. It's so weird. <laughs> Stilted way of talking, but um... Oh, she's actually standing in front of... <gasps> I can get back here again! Yes! I have so many Moogle coins that I've been collecting and stuff. If I can get, like, final weapons and, I don't know, just things. Looks like Shinra is, like, the last place? Am I near the end of the fucking game, guys? Wow. I, I didn't even see that coming. Welcome, Kubo. Hi, Kubo. Um, let's see, we got Ether, that's dumb. Um, let's see. Who is this for? Oh, it's for Barret. Oh my. A close combat weapon with steel blades designed to slice enemies to ribbons. That sounds fun. I wonder if we could still do the blast thing with that. Um, enfeeblement ring. A ring that makes the wearer feel as if they are are a fog staring into the eyes of a viper. They are a frog. Okay, they are a frog staring into the eyes of- So, I wonder if they could do enter battle with the toad status effect? Um, how is that helpful? I don't understand how that's helpful. Hmm. Um, Moogle Mortar. A medicinal mortar that Moggy sometimes has in stock. What is that? What does that do? <laughs> so confused about this. A handbook dedicated to the proper use of firearms. Increases spirit skill points. So how many do I have? 16. I only have 16. Um, I'm getting this. I'll have to get that. I'm not getting that. I'm gonna have to get this. Because I feel like that's gonna. I might need that in a quest or something. Seems like a very special item here. Uh, let's see, who needs this? Tifa skill points. Tifa or. I don't know, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> Five? I only get one of these. Who do I use more? I, I really use Barrett more. So I'm just gonna get this. There you go, he's 10 SP now. And I'm broke. <laughs> Leaving already? Oh yeah. I, th I thought I had a lot more Moogle shit, but apparently not. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's look at this shit. Oh my god, I still haven't done this shit. I really haven't finished that one yet. Crazy. Alright, so let's um, look at the equipment again. Let's look at the nail bat. 50% proficient. I haven't seen any cool new weapons for him <laughs> in a while. Um, let's see, let's look at Gatling gun. 100%. Hell yeah, that's what I like to see. Big Bertha. Big Bertha need some help but like I have 95 SP for that top up energy reserve rush toward an enemy and launch them into the air with a furious blow increases charge all right I'm gonna do big Bertha I'm gonna do the upgrades and all of this okay hold on big Bertha doesn't have four materials left, so I'll I'll figure that one out I'll, I'm gonna give it more slots and then switch it up She's still not 100% <laughs> on that one. Wow, I haven't used her that much. That's the, that's the real issue here. Wow, she's a severely underused character. <laughs> Good lord. I, I mean, to be honest, you really don't have that much of a chance to use her. You play her in the beginning, you, you, do some, you do a few quests, and then you don't see her for a while. Just like Barrett, you don't use Barrett for that long either. And then... You're just using Cloud and Aerith for a while. Like, I don't know, this is... If the game really is coming to a close, I haven't had enough time to use all these damn characters. I thought it... Uh, I wonder how long the end dungeon is, though. I'm, I just have a feeling Shinra HQ is the end dungeon because they're making it seem like you can't help anybody, you can't do any more quests for people once you go in there. So I don't know how long it is. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna, like, upgrade shit for Barrett and I'm gonna 
I don't know, start on maybe finish one quest at least before this episode ends. Okay, guys. So Big Bertha has a lot of like, uh, shit's hitting the fan kind of like moves. Like it, it gives you MP when you're taking significant damage. And there's a skill where the healing spells do more when you're, when you're at low HP. So I already have a healing character net and all of this so this this guy is gonna be hard to kill like he, he's 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 a little roach just kidding i really shouldn't <laughs> uh, um he, he's gonna be hard to kill he's gonna pull out a cure spell out of nowhere or yeah mp so yeah he gets more mp when he takes significant damage and then his healing spells do more and then in general the healing spells do more so items and spells do more so curative shit so Baird's gonna be a fun person to have in, in a tight 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 spot so let's just keep going I guess so none of these kids are go to school at all They're, none of these people are orphans should I go out here oh hold on I can talk to you oh hey cloud you're just in time guess what we made whack -a box way harder. It's not just a little kid's game anymore. It's practice for the real deal. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will, you know? Whacking boxes wasn't training us for anything. So we decided to whack monsters instead. What the hell, wow. guys? That sounds like a terrible idea. It is not. We've all put up much better scores than you since we started. So why don't you try beating us before you talk? Uh, let's do normal mode. Uh, an elixir. And you get a crescent moon charm. For, was that 10,000? Oh, I got 10,000 before. And then you get a crescent moon charm, a spectral cogwheel, and a moogle medal. Participation prize. Participation prize. Why is the shittiest one at the bottom? Alright. I like moogle medal. Maybe I should keep playing this and get enough to get everything. What the hell? These are still boxes. I hope I'm not missing it if I'm not, I don't know, hitting it. Uh, I wonder how generous they are. <laughs> Like, is there no targeting in this game? Brace yourself. I didn't get 20,000 at all. I was so close, actually. I'm gonna do that one more time. We're always looking for more whack -a box whackers. If you want to try, I'm not gonna stop you. 
Normal mode. Ah, there we go. We're always looking for more whack a box whackers. Crescent ah. Moon and a Moogle Metal. Alright, uh, I don't know if I feel like doing that again. Good to see you, Cooper. But I do want to get. The last thing here, since I can. <laughs> oh yeah. Have a merry Moogle day, Koopa. Koopa. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna walk out. See if I can just walk out there. And this is a dungeon as well. I guess there's no like there's really no need to go out there right now because I'm looking for these damn kids. I wonder if they show it on the map. Like I guess I'll come back out here if I've looked everywhere. <laughs> I want to at least find one freaking child. Do they show them on the map at all? Oh my gosh, this must be like really hard then because it doesn't show up on the map. I just gotta run everywhere. Kids. <laughs> Everyone hates this. <laughs> did a plate really fall? I mean, yeah, it did. Totally. Ugh, nothing to see here. The world's just too dangerous these days not to keep a weapon at your side. Yeah, I got my trusty bat that I like to hit people on the head with. That's actually a pretty vicious looking bad, guys. Wait, did I hear something? Not gonna make it into work anytime soon, so might as well. Ah, okay. Thought I heard some music. And we're back here again. <laughs> Damn, can I find one kid? Oh hi. It's Hey, you! Cloud, right? Stable land. Man, am I glad yes. I caught you. Sam, he told me who you are. 
Said you're a merc, and a former soldier at that. Listen, I hate to ask, but we got a few runaway birds. Mind helping us find them? Poor things were so startled by that plate coming down, they just up and bolted. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, frightened and hungry. <sighs> My poor birds. Worried about them, huh? Alright, I think we can help you out. Oh, thank you. When you find them, feed them this. There's three missing all told, and their names are Coco, Lolo, and Momo. Momo. They'll come on home once they got some food in their bellies. Good luck. I'm counting on y'all. Chocobo carriages will take you to destinations much faster than by foot. Finding the missing chocobos for Sam increases the number of available destinations. To take a ride, check the schedule at a chocobo station or talk to the staff. Oh. Oh, we can go to Wall Market? It oh my gosh. There's so much to do. Wow. That's interesting. Also takes money to do this, huh? Man, I've been so worried. I haven't eaten a single thing since they ran off. Will the map tell me where they are? Okay, so we have missing chocobo, <laughs> missing kids, Ugh. and we can use that to go everywhere. Cool. Less running. All right, I really do want to find one kid. Uh, hold on. What? Hi. If only I kept a closer watch. Uh, he just appeared back there. Good God. He gets to places faster than me. Uh, no, kids can't be out here. Oh, hi. It's this guy. Getting sidetracked. I'm grateful for all for the your win. help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. I guess I'll buy it from you. What is this? Gives you a chance to learn certain enemy techniques that you've endured and use them as abilities. These abilities can only be used when the materia is set to your equipment. What? Certain enemy techniques that you've endured and use them as ability. Wow. It's very interesting indeed. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. I guess I should put that on cloud, huh? You hear about what happened in Sector 7? I heard. Oh, he only sells music. Interior is that what one you want when shit hits the fan. Or maybe he has other shit, but I didn't see it. Seriously, where are these kids? Uh, what am I gonna well, do? Now? Hi, Doctor. Hey, I know you. You're Eret's bodyguard. I could really use her help. She always knew where to find the best herbs. And you haven't seen her, have you? I used up all my meds treating people injured when the plate fell, you see. I could make more, but not without those herbs. So what do you need? You mean you're willing to help me out? Oh, thank you. You'd be doing this town a huge favor. Here's a list of everything I'm looking for. Do I have the last one right there? Medicinal flowers from Aerith? Maybe it's in her place. A behemoth horn from the underground lab. So there is a fucking behemoth in the underground lab. I was thinking about that too. Like afterwards, I was like, is that a big ass behemoth down there? We're gonna have to fight it. If we're gonna do that one. I've walked a thousand steps, what does that mean? <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm, not sure what it means. It's just, I've walked a thousand steps. Ah, oh my god, I'm not getting shit done. Alright, we're, we're, we're looking that next, next episode. Okay, let's go look around real quick again. Where the fuck do these kids be? Like, I feel like I've done this quest before, but... They seem way more widespread. Okay guys, so I've walked around the general area for a little while. And I, I don't think they're around here. I really don't think they're around here at all. They might be in other parts of the city. So I guess we'll just go exploring... We'll just go exploring on the next episode. That's what's about to happen. We're gonna do... We're gonna do some quests. We're gonna go back to Aeris place to see if she got the herbal medicine. And all of that, so... Catch you guys on the next episode. We're gonna be doing lots of quests. Bye bye